Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to use the via arrays option inside the Cadence PCB tools. So the via arrays option allows me to just add groups of vias very, very quickly, whether that's going to be um, things like an EMC ring around the edge of the board, whether that's some RF screening vias that you want to add, whether it's stitching vias across the whole shape or the whole uh, section of the board. Um, we can use the via arrays command to do that. So if we use the place via array command, um, our options pane changes, so it's worthwhile making sure that this is this is available to us, whether that's panned out. Um, so we've got different settings, either place, delete, and update. So place to add via arrays, delete to delete the via arrays as a group, uh, and update to make changes to the via arrays. There's an enable a DRC check and a preview. So um, from a DRC point of view, um, when you place the vias, any that are going to cause a DRC error will automatically be removed. There's a preview to show you what's going on. I'll cover the next two object uh, items a little bit later on uh, when I go through the demo. So you've got the via net definition. So what net do you want the vias associated to? What what's the pad set going to be used? The angle and uh, location. Thermal relief connects types. So obviously um, diagonal, orthogonal, thermal, eight-way connector, non. So typical kind of connection types for uh, the vias into copper planes. And then the different options you've got are things like a single-sided of an object, both sides centered, surrounding, between, a radial, uh, and then a cross board, a cross shape, and then across a windowed area. So these three are graphically the same same kind of uh, scenario. So let's go and start off with the surrounding one. So what I want to do is I maybe want to add a, a, a like an EMC ring, a ground ring that goes around the edge of my ball profile. So I'm going to specify this as minus one. Uh, one is that distance. And then I'm just going to literally just left click the board edge. And you can see I then get a preview effectively of all the vias that's going to be added. So if we zoom up here, obviously from this scenario, this could potentially create a DRC. So hence the reason the DRC check is enabled. And you'll see what happens when I finish and actually place the vias. But because this is a preview, um, we can actually make changes here. So maybe let's um, let's put the vias to via distance slightly smaller. So I get slightly more vias. Maybe I want to add two via rings. Um, we'll specify the uh, motor offset as minus one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Obviously, I'm going to get a DRC here potentially. So let's just, uh, once I'm happy with the preview, what's going on, I just left click to place and then it will then place the vias. And you can see it's removed the via here. Just scroll in and zoom in up here. It's also removed the vias up here as well. So that's one uh, via array object. Let's just uh, maybe go and do another one. So we'll do place via array. Just zoom in here. So what I want to do now is I want to do something both sides. Maybe specify that as a uh, 0.3 of a millimetre. Uh, I just want one via ring here. So because I've just effectively got the C line, if I select this, I only get that individual C line object because the C line goes from here to here. So let's just oops that. Um, if I do extending C line and I pick maybe this point, I get more of the C line. So I get the, the associated C lines coming from there. So let's oops that one. If we enable the origin point and I left click on this C line, you can see I can then just drag where I want to place the vias. Once I'm happy with where the vias, I can do a left click to place and then the via rays get placed. So quite a useful feature. Um, obviously there's things like a cross board, which will be um, stitching vias across the whole shape, um, which can be useful. There's obviously also a deleted a delete option. So if I wanted to maybe just go and delete um, this via array, I can delete all of those via arrays in one go and it would get rid of all of them in one step. So very easy to undo and add them all together as well. So quite a useful feature. 